Hello friends, today we will learn about the topic that is point of zero charge. We also call this as zero charge, point of zero charge or you can say isoelectric point also. So this is usually denoted as the pH at which the adsorption surface total charge is equal to zero and this idea was first of all presented in studies that related to the colloidal full population as a way to explain how pH affects the adsorption studies or you can say surface chemistry okay? so this is basically used predominantly in the surface chemistry okay or it is also defined where the zeta potential reverses its isoelectric point or you can say the charge and okay where the surface potential reverses is the point of zero charge okay now it relates to the adsorption phenomena or you can say the surface chemistry for example if the point of zero i mean at this point the charge density on the surface will be zero for example if the point of zero charge is 8.5 so it implies that at this ph the solid submerged electrolyte will show zero electric charge on that surface okay or you can say the importance of this kind of plot is that a given mineral surface will have positive charge at solution ph less than point of zero charge and thus a surface on which anions may adsorb below than this on the other hand for example you can say however the mineral surface will have negative charge as solution pH values greater than point of zero charge and thus be a surface on which cations or you can say cationic pollutant may adsorb or absorb or it can be removed at that basically that specific point okay or the point of zero pH of point of zero charge is one of the essential features okay the adsorbance can greatly influence the percentage of adsorption and is totally different from one material to another okay each material will have its unique point of zero charge it will not be similar okay now in continuation the method used or the technique used to to compute the point of zero charge is called salt addition salt titration sometimes you can say mass titration also or uh, other methods are also used drift drift i mean ph drift methods okay for example we have shown you here how we will be using salt addition method that we are going to show you in the laboratory so here what you are going to do first of all you will prepare 0.1 molar of uh, sodium nitrate okay from the salt that is available in the laboratory okay at room temperature and then you would be taking we would be taking 0.2 gram of the adsorbent okay into the different aliquots or different conical flask of 0.1 molar of sodium nitrate okay we will adjust the pH using the uh, solution that we have that is 0.1 molar NaOH or 0.1 molar uh, sodium, uh, sodium hydroxide and the pH range would be from 2 to 11 okay that is okay uh, you can specify yourself you can choose even from 1 Okay, 2 to 10 also okay and then the uh, these flask will be vigorously agitated in a shaker bath or whatever uh, uh, shaker uh, bath you have in your laboratory after settling the final pH of the suspension will be measured by filtering okay you can settle or you can set diffuse or filter then the difference between the final and initial values will then be plotted and the initial pH at which delta pH is 0 will be taken as the point of zero charge this is the depiction of one of the method okay in continuation the salts which we use are added for tuning the ionic strength of the solution and also salts are uh, for creation of ionic layers on the particles to make it possible to measure the zeta potential or the point of zero charge and zeta potential is different using different salts at different pH but the isoelectric point which is close to point of zero charge is almost the same this is the depiction of two kind of different plots uh, which you can see okay this is the difference between the final and initial value and this is plotted against initial pH and this is also 
uh, different kind of plane where we will be plotting the pH initial on the x axis and y axis the pH of minor. Okay, and you will draw a line from the origin and from where it I mean intersects will give you the point of zero charge. This is for all about the point of zero charge. Approximately weight 5.88 gram and then we will resolve this in one liter. So we uh, the objective here is to prepare the 0.1 normal of NaCl. You have already watched in my previous videos how we prepare one normal or 0.1 normal or one molar of the specific chemical salts. So you can watch it there also. So here we will transfer this to the conical flask and we would add around one liter of the double distilled water or deionized water. We should uh, can also add milky water which has the least specific interference of the ions because there are um, chances there are least number of ions there which will have least interference. So I, I have added around one liter of the uh, deionized water into the conical flask using the cylinder which is 250 ml so four times addition of this makes one liter. Now we will shake this and also heat a little bit so that the mixture is uh, homogenized and then we will add the adsorbent in different flask adjust the pH and then shake it for 24 hours Let's wait for a few minutes so that the mixture is really homogenized and then we will set the pH and add our adsorbent in each while we are going to add around 20 milligram of the adsorbent okay so let's add and then show you I'm going to skip this step this is around 20 milligram so first adsorbent that I have chosen is 5 molar acid activated pozorona and this is 5 molar nitric acid activated pozorona so in the first set I will add sulfuric acid activated pozorona and the second set I will add nitric acid activated pozorona okay now I have already transferred the adsorbent and mark the labels here okay so that it is easy to distinguish after the shaking now the second task is to maintain the pH and transfer the aliquots or the liquids to the different vials since the mixture is hot so I'm cooling it down then I will alter the pH so this one is around 5.7975 is fluctuating so I have noted then down this value here and I will transfer around 10 ml of the aliquot or the Y of the solution here and then subsequently we will uh, alter the pH and transfer in all the vials 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 whatever okay and then we will show you the final step okay so this was just one demonstration of altering the pH of the aliquot now after transferring all the uh, aliquots or the solution we will shake this so it's done this for 24 hours RPM let's fix at 270 now we will shake this for 24 hours and then we will measure the final pH after filtration so after 24 hours of constant shaking, uh, I mean till the solution has equilibrated, so we will uh, filter all the solutions, okay, one by one, and then we will check the final pH, okay. So let's measure the, the pH and then show you to you the values, okay. Then we will plot and show you the significance of the point of zero charge. Okay. So I will skip this step. So just one I am showing you. We will filter using this. Wattman filter okay already all the specification are encrypted on the box of the filter paper okay. so at two point I mean on the first this one the, the pH is around 2.11 so we will note down these values and similarly we measure all the values and note down here so pH initial and pH final so these are the values after filtering so you can see here the values are more, almost similar because this was modified using sulfuric acid and this was modified using nitric acid so we will plot and then we will find the okay 
point of zero charge okay so guys uh, we have plotted this points here the one we uh, got from the laboratory so this was our initial value and this is my final pH values for the sulfuric acid activated pozzolana or the volcanic ash okay so what we have to do we have to choose the line plus symbol okay so already I have chosen here now what we need to do is uh, I have already made a box here so box is simple either you can make a box through here frame or you can click here and then choose these I mean additional lines here or here okay now to get uh, the point of zero charge what we have to do we have to take, draw a line so where it will intersect you draw a line from the origin so where it, it intersects is my point of zero charge so in first case which is the black one so this is the point of zero charge is equal to sulfuric acid activated is 6.083 and this one is 6.554 okay which is equivalent to uh, other studies okay so this is a st study okay uh, an author main and activated carbon okay by chemical activation with phosphoric acid so here the point of zero charge is almost uh, synonymous so you can see here they they got 7.4 5.7 okay so in our case for the sulfuric acid it is around 6.0 or 6.114 okay uh, sorry in the case of okay yeah and then we have the other value is 6.554 so you can see these two are almost analogous which is similar uh, in our case okay now we all know that the point of zero charge has very very important role in case of the uh, I mean effect of pH okay whatever pollutant we will be targeting okay and uh, we know that at pH which is less than I mean point of zero charge the adsorbent will have a, a net positive charge while the pH greater than uh, point of zero charge the surface has a net negative charge okay and uh, from this we can conclude uh, the I mean the nature of our adsorbent okay uh, which will uh, target the pollutant so this was all about the point of zero charge its significance okay and uh, its relation in the uh, adsorption studies or you can say the surface phenomena